What's up geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today we are going to talk about this Kelly Marie Tran situation. Um, everybody is probably aware because so many people have asked me about it and what's my opinion. She shared um, you know, so a story, uh, many stories about uh, what she's gone through in her life and the mainstream media is obviously going to take that and build their narrative around it like they always do. And so she's obviously dealt with a lot of things in her life uh, in different circumstances, different situations, different backgrounds, different people have made different assumptions about her based on her race and her gender. And that's not cool, but that's life. And it happens to all of us. It just does. We all deal with harassment in some way, shape, or form. We all have to overcome it. We all have to deal with trials and tribulations within our lifetime. If you've never been bullied in life, then you truly are someone, and I don't think anybody, I think everybody's been bullied in their life, but if you are someone that says you've never been bullied in your life, then you truly do uh, have privilege. You truly do. And I don't think you exist. Everybody gets bullied in some way, shape, or form. They just do. That is life, and it comes down to the individual and how the individual wants to handle that. The, do they want to play that up so people can feel sorry for them? Do they want to play that up and become the victim? They, then you can very well do that. Um, or you can take these situations that you deal with in life, and you can learn from them and get better. Now, not all bullying is the same. There are some severe situations, and there are some not-so-severe situations. It's all up to the individual and how they want to respond to them. But there is objectively terrible situations of bullying. There is physical bullying. There is mental. There is verbal. There's all types of bullying. And each person is going to handle it differently. So I'm not saying Kelly Marie Tran has to handle anything uh, the way I handle things. She has lived a different life than I have. I've lived a different life than she has. People look at me and they think, oh, this guy's never been bullied because he's a white male. He's a privileged white male. And if that's the determination you want to make, then that's fine. By definition, now I'm not saying this, but by definition of the SJW and the far left crowd, you are being racist because you're looking at my skin color. You're looking at my gender and you are determining what I've been through in my life. And that's fine. I mean, I really don't care. I'm a person that likes racial jokes. I like to play uh, with my friends who are different backgrounds and different races. I like to tell jokes. I like when they joke back at me. That's just how I am. And so I, I think that when you uh, actually make those jokes and, and, and drop your guard a little bit, it makes you, it, it brings you more into uh, the community aspect of what we are all involved in, in some way, shape, or form. You know, if you're a person that can't take jokes, if you're a person that can't uh, be joked about, then you're going to be treated differently by your own standard that you've created. Therefore, then you want to play the victim. Well, if you're making it out, if, if I have a bunch of friends and I can make jokes about them, if I can make jokes about their background, if I can make jokes about their race, if I can make jokes about their religion, and we're all having fun, and you're way off in a corner, and you get offended by everything I say to you, well, then, of course, we're going to treat you differently because you've determined that we have to treat you differently. So I think when you drop your guard and you act normal and you just invite all of those things, then it makes you more acceptable to the crowds. And again, that's just my opinion. That's my take on it. So with all of this, it really comes down to it. Could I tell you stories about my background and things I've been through? Yes. Does it matter? No, it really doesn't. It just depends on who wants to play the victim card up. I've been uh, physically assaulted because of the color of my skin. I've been physically removed off of basketball courts because I was white. I've been physically assaulted because I was wearing Jordans to school and white boys weren't supposed to wear them. And I've had all these situations. I'm not taking my hat off because I'm, I'm doing a, a, a hatless live stream at 100K if, if we are lucky enough to hit that. But my hair is not normal. It's not normal white people hair. And I got made fun of my entire life. My entire life. Now, most people love my hair. I don't. But when I was a kid, I was always different. So it would always create a problem for me. I'd always get picked on. And we moved around a lot when I was a kid because my dad was involved with different businesses. So we moved around a lot. So every time I'd go to a new school, I went in there knowing 
knowing they were going to make fun of my hair. I knew, I knew it was going to happen, and of course it always happened. And you develop, uh, you develop a, a certain uh, insecurity everywhere you go about these things. And so, um, but now later in life, now everybody loves my hair, but I don't because I have a complex because of my upbringing with my hair. Um, now, my white, my white male privilege must have ran out all those years when I was a kid being picked on. Um, but, you know, I keep hearing about it. I don't know where it's at. So, I'm, I hate that Kelly Marie Tran has gone through some things. She seems like an incredibly sweet person from all of the interviews we've seen. She's very attractive. Um, and the, the character Rose does suck, and I'm not going to back off that. That is the worst character ever. And it sucks that the actor is going to have to pay for um, how bad the, uh, the the character was. We've seen this. We've seen this with Jake Lloyd, Hayden Christensen, uh, many other uh, young stars that have uh, got high-profile roles uh, that maybe people didn't like the character. It's not specific to a race or a gender. It's, um, it's just part of being uh, on the internet. It's part of being in the public eye. And if we're going to tackle this issue, then we can't tackle this issue specific to genders and race. We should tackle the issue altogether. So you're either against the problem or you are against the problem in certain situations. And you're going to pick and choose which demographic works best for you to get on your woke box. Well, I think that's stupid. So I think that if you want to tackle the problem of online harassment and and harassment from the public eye, that's that's an honorable thing to do. In my opinion, everybody faces it in some way, shape, or form, and there are certain people that, and I'm not saying Kelly Marie Tran's doing this, but there are people that want to take a situation that's not that big of a deal and blow it out of proportion to make it seem like a bigger deal, and then if the mainstream media sees an opportunity to paint a narrative around that issue that the individual is blowing out of proportion, then they're going to do that, and they're going to misrepresent everything. So it's a problem in a lot of different directions. And so that's my take on it. I hate that she, if she, it, it, we don't know because there's no screenshots. We don't know anything that's gone on with her past. We don't know anything in terms of social media. We don't know of any of the comments that were specific. We don't know who made them. All we know is she said it happened. Well, it happens to me. It happens to you. I get, I get death threats all the time. I get people saying horrible things about me all the time. And all of you do. I've seen messages from different content creators here at Geeks and Gamers. You've got Anna, you've got Jesse, attractive women that work here at Geeks and Gamers, and they get these types of messages all the time. So it's not specific to anybody. It's everybody gets it. Everybody. Different people get different harassment, and different people respond to harassment in different ways. But it doesn't make it okay. It just means that if we're going to tackle the issue, we need to tackle the issue. Quit telling white people that they have privilege and they don't get it because they do. They get it just as much, maybe not just as bad, but it doesn't matter. It's all relative to the individual. If you're told to go kill yourself on a consistent basis, if you're told that somebody's going to come and physically assault you and your family, it doesn't really matter what someone else gets online you relative to you that hurts you don't like to hear that and that is an intimidating thing when a stranger on the internet tells you he's threatening you yet the mainstream wants to tell you well you're white you're a white male so it shouldn't be a big deal to you no it sucks it sucks for everybody so that's my problem with it um i'm sure this is going to upset a lot of people and i'm sorry but you want my opinion that's my opinion you guys have a great day and uh as far as kelly marie tran goes it sucks i don't support it and uh, hopefully, you know, we can get a little more context to the situation and we can see what some of the people that are saying it, not just bots, not just fake accounts. I want to see names and faces that have said some of the things to her so we can collectively call those people out and put them on blast. You guys have a great day. We'll talk to you later.